Hello everyone. Um, I just had to make a video on uh, this chapter on the wings of Atalanta. Chapter five of Du Bois's Souls of Black Folk. Uh, it's just such a remarkable uh, essay and you know, it, it really, uh, I think, is, is, is so emblematic of Du Bois's thought in this book. Um, what is it? I mean, it, it's, it's a criticism of commercialism. It's a, it's a criticism of materialism in American life. And um, it is a defense of something else, something that's not money, something that's not prosperity. Uh, du Bois is not just a uh, commenter on black life in America. He's a, he's a commenter on America itself, and of course, with special attention to the place of black people in America. But he is uh, he's a general cultural critic, and uh, it's clear that he has fears and some of those fears are that America is going to lose its way by chasing after the golden apples like Atalanta. Uh, but it can't forget that there are more important things than golden apples or more important things than, than material prosperity. Uh, and that's just generally, he's an intellectual. He believes in truth. He believes in goodness. He believes in beauty. He believes in liberal education. And uh, one of the things that I think is quite clear is that he believes in it for its own sake, but he also believes in it for the sake of leadership. I mean, one of the things that's clear from the other essays is that uh, he believes that black people in America need leaders. And, and the only way that he can imagine leaders emerging in the black community is if they have access to a liberal education. He just assumes that the, the political leadership of African Americans will be writers, journalists, uh, doctors, uh, lawyers, um, people in the professions generally, um, artists that, that if, you know, his, his problem with uh, Washington, he felt like Washington was making a lot of mistakes, but one of the mistakes he was making was, was thinking that what all that black people needed in America in terms of education was vocational education. And, and Du Bois thought this was a great mistake because you, you, you need liberal education. You need people who are learning the humanities um, in order for there to be a leadership class amongst black people in America. They needed humanistic liberal education in order to develop themselves to that point. Uh, but it, you know, he's, he's, he thinks that because he thinks that society as a whole, black, white, everybody, that you need, that the society needs something at the center of it that is not just uh, efficiency, not just pragmatism, not just uh, a means and approach to life and to thinking. Uh, that the search after material prosperity would, if it became the end all and be all of the country, would be the end of the country. And if it became the end all and be all of the black community, it would be the end of the black community. There has to be something more. Um, as he says on page five, bottom of page five, in the black world, the preacher and teacher embodied once the ideals of this people, the strife for another and a juster world, the vague dream of righteousness, the mystery of knowing. But as the religious leader and the intellectual the teacher, they once embodied the ideal of black people in America, the search after truth and justice. But today the danger is that these ideals with their simple beauty and weird inspiration will suddenly sink to a question of cash and lust for gold. Uh, that, that is, he's, he fears that the preacher and the teacher and what they embody will, will give way just simply to, to business and that this would be a terrible thing for everybody.